Please. Hello everybody, we're back with the Alphabeti Spaghetti Challenge and we are on to an episode with all about Bosnia and Herzegovina today. Uh, I am going to show you the uh, the game again, one of the games against Scotland. Uh, we have got two games against them. If I've just gone to the Bosnia side of things, as you can see from the schedule, we've got two games against Scotland in the next week. I'm just going to show you one of them. And then the next two games, I'm going to show you the England and Northern Ireland game. Um, and then Belarus, I don't mind skipping out. As you can see from the schedule here, we did beat Ecuador 1-0 and we drew against Belarus 1-0. Um, if I go on to the European Championship qualifying group, if it lets me do that. No, I didn't want to do that again. Right, let's just click that. Um, as you can see, that's the group that we're in. We've got Scotland, England, Belarus, and Northern Ireland. Uh, England beat Northern Ireland at level one. Um, I am going to show you the Scotland and Northern Ireland and England games because it would be nice to see what type of players they have in their team, like years on. And I'll do like a breakdown of the team probably as well. For Scotland and England and Northern Ireland, if they, when we play them, but it looks like they've got Sterling in there, Tamori, Curtis Jones, Harry Kane, Valmont, and Adoy, Child Ray. I don't know where they'll be in real life, but I'll do that because it would be nice to see because obviously it's 2027, see where some of the bigger players are playing now and what national teams are like in England. Um, and then we'll just go from there. So we're just going to get into the game against Scotland now. They are top of the group. They've won the first two games. Uh, this is a team that we're putting again, out against Scotland. They've got Kovacic in net, Kalasnic, Katic, Hobzi and Todorovic across the back. Long Karn and Gojak in midfield, Civic on the left wing, Hadj on the in the cam position, Demirovic on the right and Kodra up front. So we're gonna go with this game. What we will do is we'll submit the team and then see what Scotland's team is when we get to the match. So we are gonna to go to the match and then obviously we will start the game and then I'm just going to click on Scotland and see what their team and their team they brought out for the game. And just run through their team quickly, see where players are at and if I recognise anybody. If I don't, then I'm going to just obviously continue with the game and go from there. So they've got Robbie McCory, Aaron Hickey, Ross McCory, Scott McTominay, Greg Taylor, Oliver Burke, Billy Gilmore, John McGinn, Mikey Johnston, Ollie McBurney and Dylan Munro. Obviously, I recognise McBurney. Uh, Aaron Hickey is someone in the Scottish League as a good youngster. Um, Scott McTominay is obviously my United player in real life. John McGinn's Aston Villa player. I think I've heard of Billy Gilmore. I think he's someone who plays for Chelsea. And then Oliver Burke, I think, is a, another player in real life. So they have still got a lot of players who are real. I think Ryan Christie is as well. Uh, a few other players. I will click into them in more detail. Uh, I'll just go into the dressing room and give my thingy. Put my fist, say that. Defenders, I'll just say I've got faith in you. Same with the midfield. Same with the up front. And we'll go to the kickoff skip it and then we'll pause the game but we'll just click on Scotland if we can don't know if I want to do this let's go to position see if I can do that no yes I can so Robbie McCory he is at he is real he's the Rangers goalkeeper looks like looks like the second goalkeeper for Rangers Aaron Hickey he is at Bologna in Spain, he was at Hearts, he went over to Italy, not Spain, Italy, and he's playing in Italy, he's a full-time player there, Ross McCory, he is 29, looks like a decent player, he's been first team for Rangers for a very, very long time, still was there, yeah, he's been there, he's probably a youth player from there, is Scott McTominay still at Man United, no we're not, he's at Wolves, so we transferred to Wolves in 2023. That's interesting. Looks like it's the best season that he's had so far. He's been a regular for Wolves for a very, very long time. Uh, Greg Taylor. Um, I'm not sure who this is. He was at Kilmarnock, went to Celtic, and then he's been a regular for Celtic. Celtic third team left back. Oliver Burke. He is contracted to Mans. So he was at Sheffield United for a very long time and then in the last few seasons he's played pretty much first team football for Mans in the Bundesliga. Um, Billy Gilmore, I think he was at Chelsea. Is he still at Chelsea? He's at Everton, so he was at Chelsea for a long period of time and then he's been kind of slowly worked into Everton's first team. It looks like he's having an incredible season at the Premier League. 
Stone Point 6 0, good for Premier League, that's pretty good. John McGinn's probably getting on now, 32 years old. He's still at Aston Villa, stayed at Aston Villa for his whole career. He's playing very well this season. I know this is just a run through, but this is just something nice for me. Mikey Johnston, um, I'm not sure he's at Celtic, he's been there the whole time. He's just mainly come into the picture the last two seasons and started playing regularly. Um, Ollie McBurney, I think he was at Sunday in real life, is at Sheffield United on the game. He stayed at Sheffield United. He looked like he's had a good two years at the moment. Uh, and then the last striker is Dylan Munro, who is at Rangers, and he's a regen, and he's a 19-year-old. He got regenerated in 2022, and he is looks like pretty much first team striker for or uh, first team striker for Rangers. So that's pretty interesting. That's uh, the Scotland team, pretty much. Um, First team anyway. Is there any other players that I recognise on the bench? Not particularly, no. So I'll just run through the first team uh, of Scotland because obviously it's in 2027 and that's the first team in 2027. Scott McTominay has gone off to um, Wolves. Um, Aaron Hickey's playing in Italy. Uh, and a few of the players have stayed at the normal clubs. Obviously Billy Gilmore uh, left Chelsea to go to somebody else, Everton, and he's playing out of his skin this year, by the looks of things. Um, so, yeah, the Scotland have still got a pretty decent team in the future for 2027. Uh, I will obviously show you the England team and the Northern Ireland team, but that is the first team that I've seen internationally that I know of, like big team Scotland, is uh, where they've got a regen player on the pitch, who is that regen striker. McBurney's through when he misses. But it is sometimes nice just to show them in the future. This is why I kind of wanted to go onto the international scene a little bit, but I wasn't expecting to do it this early. Um, but obviously, with being at Bo Bosnia, it was my only job for the time being. McCauley's played it. We are playing great, to be honest. Kalasnic, Civic, whoever's got the ball. Burt, Gilmore, they are out playing us. McBurney, McGinn. I am expecting to get beat because they are, the, the team's okay. That I've got, we haven't really got any out and out really, really class players. Like Kalasnic is the only player that I really know because he's the ex Arsenal left back and he's gone to Aston Villa in real life on this. Other than that, they, really, they all kind of play for a bit part teams. I think I've got one centre back, which is Hodzi, who's the Inter Milan centre back or was. Uh, Johnson's on the ball for them. Munro's won it back. He's the regen and played across across the old Burke and they're 1 0 up. Um, I'm going to just shout demand more from the lads um, and then yeah we're going to go from there but I, I was kind of expecting to have a draw or lose today we threw against Belarus England I'm expecting to get beat by Northern Ireland I'll probably expect us to beat them I think we will be better than Northern Ireland in my personal opinion Civic has seen though Northern Ireland got beat 11-1 by England Burks just ran all the way through and scored Belarus are beating Northern Ireland as well. If we don't beat Northern Ireland, I'll be pretty disappointed, to be perfectly honest. I think Scotland are another level above us. Uh, I'm just going to demand more again. Uh, is there anybody playing not particularly great? Yeah, well, a lot of players aren't playing particularly great. Sloan Carr's on the ball. Hodzi's got it back. Plays it all the way back to Kovacic. Kovacic is on the ball. Uh, I think that was Katic, Kolasnic, Hatches played it over to Kodro, and Kodro shot in the back of the net. That was a good goal, that, to be perfectly honest. Keenan Kodro, well in, lad. Kolasnic fires it to Hatch. Hatch fires it to s just straight over the top to Kodro. Beat the defence and fired it in the back of the net. Well done, Kodro, lad. Uh, it's just the wingers. Wingers never play great in my system. It's McBurney, Burke. But for them, Civic has blocked it. He's cleared it wide, and he's a left back who's playing left wing. Um, okay, McGinn's on the ball for them. Monroe, Johnston, Johnston's coming on the inside. I don't know what the hell he's doing there. Just fires it wide. They have been the better team in this game. I'm just gonna try and I can't do anything at the moment. I was just gonna try and encourage the lads, but I can't do any shots at the moment. Taylor, Johnston, Gilmore, McGinn. McGinn's just scored a screamer. And, uh, yeah, I can't really say much. I won't show the second game. We'll probably get beat again. Um, we've just not done very well internationally. To be honest, I am trying to think of if I can go a different international team. Maybe go to like a uh, maybe go to like a, an African team or something. 
do something different. Uh, I'm obviously pretty happy at Wolfsburg at AC. I'm going to stay here for now. Um, and we did well and turned it around in the second season. And I feel like we can do that next season and finish the promotion playoffs and build on the team. Because they got a good young team and they got a good young backup and good youth. Well, they want to develop youth and I've got a hell of a lot of good youth players who I can develop. So I feel like long term, I think it would be good to stay at Wolfsburg AC and I like the club now. I kind of grown fond of them and Port Prem, which I kind of was doing a second series on, has kind of gone to a, gone to a ruse because I like the badge, I like this club, and I'm very happy that I got signed by them. Really, um, let's put Richard Capich on. I don't think he's played for us before, but we'll put him on. Hadge isn't playing great. Uh, Anybody to recommend? Let's put Muhanovic on. Uh, yeah, let's go with him. And is there anybody else who will be playing great? Kolasinic isn't having a great game. Uh, let's put Kapic in. No, let's put the goalkeeper there. And I, let's put Kovacic back in there. Kovacic can play left back as well. Let's put Kapic at left back. And then let's put Sumonovic at centre back. And then let's go with that. The left back and right back haven't been great to be fair. This the midfield have been okay, but not been fantastic. I've just decided to take off the worst players that I'll do in. Uh, I am gonna demand more again. Um I have just cleared it. Carl Frey's come on for them. Don't know who that is. Uh McGinn's firing another corner in. We have cleared it. Um Burke's on the ball for them. He's just been great for them this game. Um, I have demanded more. There's not much more that I can do. Kapic is on the free kick. Obviously, he's just scarred over. Uh, I am going to go attacking because we are 3 1 down. I might as well have got nothing to lose. Um, so, yeah, oh, they've got another corner. Gilmore's on it. Kapic cleared it off the line, I think it was. Uh, let's try and encourage the lad, see if that works. Um, but, yeah, if we just. Just been outplayed by the better team, really. We are away as well, to be perfectly honest. Um, but we've just been outplayed by the better team. Belarus and Northern Ireland, two all. Have they got Ethan Galbraith, who's an ex Man United player? Probably not there anymore. Yeah, 3 1 loss. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. We didn't play great. Uh, it wasn't a thingy. Yeah, let's stick with that. Let's make amends against them in our next match. Yeah, I'll just start to show you the Scotland game. We got battered. We are fourth in the group now. Uh, I don't know if we'll finish third. England have only got three points in the group as well, to be perfectly honest, and they play two games, so they must have got beaten by Scotland as well. So maybe Scotland are going to win the group and they've got a good side. Um, yeah, so that's about it, really. I'm going to play the Scotland game offline, and thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!